Hey YouTube, this is Eve the Weave, and I wanted to talk that queen shit today. And I'm not talking about just Nicki Minaj and her album and all that. I'm talking about being that I'm in motherfucking New York and I'm in the Bronx and right now I feel like we got the five top top five women in female hip hop right now, which is Young M.A. Nicki Minaj, Remy, Lil' Kim, Carly B. And I didn't put it in that type of order. It just came out like that. But those are my top five right there. Like, that's doing it for New York right now. And I like how people are staying in their lanes, but some people is just all over the place. I seen the interview with Remy not with Remy, my bad. I seen an interview with Young M.A. And I liked it. I always liked Young M.A. interviews because she's humble. She always is the same. Like nothing don't change with Young M.A. And she spit fire bars and she stays to keep the interview mainly focused on herself, which I like. And I seen the interview, I seen two interviews. I seen one interview the other yesterday with Little Kim, and I seen one last week where she had to put the radio station and a couple of people in their place. Because what she said was, you're not gonna ask me about another female right now when I'm the queen in the room. You're not gonna ask me about nobody else. If you're gonna ask me about me and this is a Little Kim interview, it's gonna be all about me. Don't ask me about Nicki Minaj no more. I wish her the best and everything that she do, but don't ask me about her no more. She shut the shit down. And I said, yes, that's what type of time she on. Then when I seen Funk Flex and I seen Nicki Minaj's interview, and I said to myself, what the fuck did she just do to herself? Baby girl, I don't know what happened. I know exactly what the fuck happened. I'm not gonna even act like I don't know what happened. I'm a Bronx bitch, I'm a queen. I'ma tell you exactly what I know happened. You waited four years to drop an album. You got too relaxed in your kingdom. You got too relaxed. I don't know who's in your camp. I don't know who told you to wait that long to drop an album, but it did not make no sense. You got too relaxed over the years and you spitting fire verses on everybody. That's what everybody know you as, to be Nicki Minaj, to spit, spit fire bars every fucking way. You get on everybody's shit and you spit firework and then you come out with this album here and it's like, huh? What the fuck just happened? Cause that's the way I felt. I said, what just happened here? Your album is all over the place. You mad because you came out number two. So you shot, you throwing shots at everybody. This one, that one, Travis Scott, you selling this, you doing that. Didn't you do that before? Like, so, and then you try to throw everybody underneath the bus without saying no names. Everybody's feeling some type of way about it. They just don't want to say nothing about it. No, sweetie. You felt yourself going down that Titanic by yourself and you damn near tried to take everybody with you without saying no names. That's not what queens do. When you a queen, you don't have to say you're the queen. People already know that it's automatic, it's stalled in their head. You don't have to you don't have to be on no cocky shit. You be on your humble shit. And when you walk in the fucking room, all eyes is on you automatically and they waiting to see what the fuck is gonna come out your mouth and if you have an attitude every time you open up your mouth damn near people's not gonna like you because that's not that's not the Nikki they know you to be and I don't know who the fuck is in your camp they said oh no wait 10 years to drop an album no bitch I couldn't have been in your camp. I would have been like, listen here, you spitting all these fire verses on everybody's shit. We
we're gonna drop a mixtape, then we're gonna work on that album, and then we're gonna spit all them bars on that album. You drop the album, and then it's like, you got an attitude on top of the album, then you got an attitude because you number two, like you ain't never been in that slot before. Like, let's just be real. You came too late. You came too late, and then your album is everywhere. That's not how you were supposed to do that. You were supposed to drop that mixtape. In between those four years, all that fire you was doing, you, all that work you was putting in on, you was putting in mad energy on everybody else's shit. And then when it got to your shit, it seemed like you was losing energy. Like you needed like a weedy or something. Like, I don't fucking know. But you need to go back. You need to rethink regroup, refocus, so you can rebrand yourself for that bitch that we know you to be. Because right now, in some people's eyes, you have fallen the fuck off the shit. You have fallen off your throne. Shit, some people have it, they shit, they even dethroned your ass. Like, and it ain't even gotta be like that. And I'm not on a hate Nikki train. I'm not on that type of time, but it is what it is. And I don't know who in your camp is doing what, but at this point, I wouldn't even be listening because it, it, it makes no sense. Somebody needs to snatch your phone. If you're not writing bars on that phone, then I don't, and you're not conducting business on that phone. And if you on Twitter and Instagram arguing with people, you and Carly's doing the same shit. Y'all arguing with people that y'all never gonna see. Let's just be real. Y'all never gonna see these people. But y'all arguing with these people like y'all gonna see these people. Y'all not gonna see these people. These people is gonna keep hating on y'all. Give them really something to hate on. You get mad, put that pen to use. Put that mouth to use in the fucking studio instead of putting your fingers to use and typing dumb shit on fucking social media. We don't want to see that. We want to see the humble Nikki we've been seeing since you came the fuck out. This big-headed Nikki, we don't know who the fuck that is. We don't know who that is. It's like you changed up on us, bitch. You don't did, you switched up on us and shit. We don't want to see that. No. And this is why your shit is not selling the way it's supposed to. Because in that album, we didn't get the real you. We didn't get all of you, I should say. We didn't get all of the Nikki that we used to. And I'm not trying to say that you can't evolve and do something different, but we need you to still be on your Nikki Queen shit and do some better shit. Because the album is everywhere. Like, I like some things off the album. I want to be able to run through your shit and be like, yo, that shit is all the way lit. Not that shit is just blowing smoke. No. I want to be like, that shit is fire. I can't do that. Because I got to skip certain shit because it is what it is. But you definitely need to drop a mixtape to recover from that fucking Queen album. I need you to drop a mixtape, and then I need you to drop a DVD of you being in the studio, you on tour, you, you spitting verses on people's shit. I need you to damn near just do what the fuck you gotta do. Because you sitting there throwing shots, you got the queen radio. You don't need to be on it all day, every fucking day. You need to put somebody in charge of that and let them be up there. Okay? You don't need, and then when you do be up there, you need to talk about yourself and and, and, and put out some real rap and put a, put some bars out there. Spit some bars because that Funk Fex interview, you should have never got so deep into that safari subject. It should have never gotten that deep where it damn near made you upset and took you out your fucking character. Because if he's in the past, let that nigga be in the past. But it seems like you brought that hurt Nikki back. We don't need that. We need... For you to, you should have stopped that and said, listen here, Flex, I'm not talking about that nigga today. You could, you the queen. You could have stopped that. But you kept going, and of course, Flex, being Flex, he was even surprised at some of the shit you were saying. So, of course, it looked like 
you look crazy. And we don't know you to be that crazy. We know you to drop bars. We know you to get on your shit. But we don't need you to be so cocky and your head get so big that you floating damn near in the sky. And I'm not talking about on some good shit. Like, you're doing too much. Carly B, you're doing too much on, you, 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 you go on at people on Instagram and you don't need to do all of that. Y'all ladies don't need to do all that. Put that anger to use and put that shit on wax. Put it in something, put it in the lab, put it on, record that bitch. Show people what you really made of. Show people how you got on the platform that you are today. Because you showing people the nasty side of you ain't gonna get you nowhere. And you know how us New Yorkers get. We do not fucking play with no motherfucking attitudes. So you can go ahead and miss me with that bullshit. Cause I'm not with it. I, I ain't with it. If I'm not dealing with a bitch with an attitude face to face, I know damn well I'm not gonna deal with an attitude with a bitch on my screen, on my motherfucking phone, and on my fucking radio. I've been on turn. Like, I ain't got time for it. This is too much, this is too, and it becomes negative. And nobody don't wanna hear that. We already got Donald Trump for that and his fucking friends. We don't need to hear negative and people throwing shots at everybody all fucking day. Yeah, this is the rap game. If y'all really wanna get it in and really wanna fucking battle, put your fucking studio to work and let's get it popping. Straight like that. We New York. That's what the fucking we do. We show niggas what, what, what really time, what, what type of time we really on. Instead of doing big shit, oh, cause he didn't do this and he's donkey of the day and he's the bitch ass nigga of the day. And it, mm, 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 mm. Cause if he's really a bitch, we gonna see it for what it is. We don't need you to be on that type of time. We need you to get back to what you do and do what you do best and showing people why you label your album queen. We don't need you to be all over the fucking place. We need you to be Nicki Minaj. That's it. That's all I gotta say. I don't even understand why a lot of the shit is going on on social media. Y'all let these people poke y'all to death on social media. I'm, I, I can't. They can bring me all the smoke they want about this video. I am not gonna even be mad because everybody have their opinions and opinions is like assholes and I and everybody got one. So it is what it is. Y'all just gotta do what y'all gotta do. And then y'all females in hip hop. So y'all gotta be on y'all shit. Times 10, I feel like, especially if y'all wanna be on the type of level and stay on that type of level. But I'ma tell you this, I bet you you won't take four years to drop another motherfucking album. I bet you that. I bet you I bet you learned your lesson from that. I bet you you won't do that shit again. Hell fucking no. In between albums, and if you feel like your album is not ready, and you feel like you don't want to put out a half-assed album, you drop them a fucking mixtape real quick, and you show them what the fuck is to come when they get the fucking album. Now you got to go backwards in order to go frontwards, and that's okay. I just hope you learned something from that. That's all I'm saying. I hope somebody in your camp says, Nikki, we need to do this, this, and this, and this. Carly, you need to stop doing this, this, and this, and that. Like, let's just be real, ladies. Like, for real. Let's get on our shit. That's all I got to say. Like I said, my name is Eve the Weave. I got to go do some appointments because that's what the fuck I do. And um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.